All right, everybody. Welcome to Alan Wake 2. I am super excited to get this game started. Um, I just finished Alan Wake, uh, the original, not too long ago. It was probably like a month or two ago at this point. Um, so it's still kind of fresh in my mind, uh, at least a little bit. Um, so I'm excited. I know we're taking, like I've seen, you know, obviously some of like the initial like trailers and stuff that they've published. Um, and whatnot, but I don't know a ton about it. Uh, I just know that we're going to be playing as two separate characters. One's an FBI agent, and then one is going to be Alan Wake himself. Um, but beyond that, I ain't got a clue. I've avoided all spoilers. I haven't watched anything on this yet. It's a couple weeks after the game's been released at this point. Um, but I figured I'm excited for this game. I've been waiting for it, so let's hop in. Let's start a new game. I'll do normal. Use a hand flare to escape the enemy's grapple unharmed. Okay. When overwhelmed by the enemy, look for a safe haven. Its healing light prevents the enemy from reaching you. Burn the, yeah, the dark shield away. Dodging away from a taken slasher's charge attack at the last moment will result in the enemy stumbling. Ah. While knocked to the ground, use dodge to avoid follow-up attacks. This will also allow you to get back on your feet quicker. Okay. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Mm. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Mm. And monsters wear many faces. That was a cool transition, honestly. I like that. Oh god. God. Okay, so we're playing as a naked man. Uh, this is interesting. I assume this is the same lake that uh, we were at before. Hmm. Interesting, okay. Come back. Help this poor man. Oh, God. Am 
I have a feeling we're gonna die. Damn, this game looks so good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh. Okay. That jumped the shit out of me. Be prepared for jump scares, Garrett. Be prepared. That was Alan Wake's face, though. So, uh, is Alan Wake hunting this guy? Something to do with his story that he's writing, that's my guess. Sprint. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. From what little I've seen of this game, I think I understand kind of what's happening right here. This is gonna, this guy's gonna die, and that's wh why the FBI chick, uh, girl that we play as, is uh, gonna be investigating this woods area in the beginning. I think. Oh God. Oh god. Okay. Up. Oh, we died. an opening to a game. Holy shit. This guy just got his friggin' art hard ripped out of his chest. God damn. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Alan Wake 2. <laughs> Starting it off on a dark note. I freaking love it though. I am so excited for this game. Hey kiddo, how are you? I'm good mom, how are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> what happened? Just work stuff right well dad and i are just watching the latest episode of night springs here mom it's so good no spoilers i'll let you get back to the show you were supposed to wait and watch with me <laughs> i love you both this is what happens when you go on work trips mom love you too and say hi to casey tell him to stop brooding so much logan i will Bye, kiddo. Yep, this is Cauldron Lake. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. 
This guy looks creepy. He looks off. I don't trust him. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. That was a good little stutter there. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? Hmm. <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Wouldn't surprise me at this point. Return one. Invitation. Get to the crime scene and find the Doesn't deputies. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Yeah, uh, Remedy has done amazing. Details are just so good. Ah, damn. Like, even her jacket looks so crisp. Map displays key locations in the area. Okay. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Okay, well, I want to go the wrong way first. Can I go this way first? Let's see what's down over here. Can I get yelled at? Oh. I need to go back. Got a case to solve. And? Okay. Guess it won't let me go the wrong way first. Oh, that makes me sad. When you walk through the trees, it doesn't uh, actually move the trees. You just walk through them. Let's just go over this way. Wait, map. Didn't it say to press tab for map? Oh, or M, I guess. Uh, okay. Witchfinder Station, Streamside, Crowsfoot Hills, which is Ladle, General Store. Okay. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. Your hat, right? Anderson? Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I... I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Damn gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, <laughs> Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> Um, uh, were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. <laughs> Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. <laughs> but don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Okay. 
What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Morton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. <laughs> Why are you being so awkward about this? God. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Texas case board inside the mine place. Okay. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Okay. So I'm going to use this in order to, like, solve the cases that I'm doing. This is kind of cool, though. Take a look around really quick, see if there's anything we can glance at. Okay, can't go anywhere. All right, let's take a look at the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Oh, okay, so we're going to... Using... Uh, the case board is a mental technique uh, that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. F gives me, brings me the cases. Control is goals. Hmm. Oh, continue. I can zoom in and out. Okay. Uh, victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. What are their uh, commonalities? Ted Lane is a dentist. Stab wounds, bloating. <coughs> uh, bruising on the wrists. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Is this the person I'm assuming that we were just playing as? Tattooing on the body is illegal? <laughs> what? Uh, she was found in Cauldron Lake in 2018. Some organs are missing. Predation. The state of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Murder method. Slight difference in uh, murders. Bloating only. Commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs. Two of the victims had bruising, some form of restraint, strapped or belted down. Deep gash in the chest. Heart missing. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma, consistent with 2018 victim. Hard to confirm due to condition of body. All bodies experienced bloating of the corpses. Bloating of the corpses is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in the water. Okay, so my guess as of right now is that Alan Wake is writing these people into the story, and they're coming like back to life or something, and then being killed by the shadow people. Victim number three was covered in Ill illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe, or their art. Uh, Postmortem uh, of the body. Can I not see the picture? I can zoom in further, I guess, but that's it. Uh, can't really make out what the tattoos are. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. 
Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Wait, so all these victims went missing in 2010, right? Yep, okay. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery technique. Killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. I mean, yes. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Find the connections will help our search for the killer. I think the search for the killer is really just going to be Alan Wake, unfortunately. I mean, I could be completely wrong on that, but that's just my educated guess as of right now. Okay, I can go case board in that. If I hit F, what are the... Oh, okay, we're going to have more cases eventually. Okay. Escape. Uh, how do we leave? Just walk out the door. I see you're okay. already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Uh, Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Visiting the mine place does not pause the game, so be mindful of nearby Lucky threats. Nature. Okay, interesting. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Shut up, dude. Nature's the bomb. Okay, wait, where are we going? Where do we come from? Okay, gate's right there. To walk down this way. Hmm. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Mirror Peak. Uh, the mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty, re beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Oh, okay, so you can hover over this if you don't want to read this. Interesting. Okay. Over here, I can go do. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Oh, okay. Yep. Can't wander too far away. It'll push, just push me back. Okay. Anything over here? about Mortar Falls. This powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle. Quite like the one uh, the Witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have something used? Oh, used to travel through the night. Okay. Interesting. Is 
Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. My Casey dad. hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. My dad used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Eh, yeah, I've heard that numerous times. Not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. <laughs> what do we got down here? Manuscript fragments. Okay. Uh, manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons. Oh, okay. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Oh, okay. There's so many fragments it costs. Wow, by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Uh, okay. Good to know. Okay, mind palace is tab. to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Yeah. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent. Oh, which is hot this way. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Which is hot. Uh, let's see. I don't like those windows moving. Uh, here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Yeah. I'm sure it does. And the sound design. It's good. Um, okay. Friday. Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright, bright fucking falls? Well, you know. Uh, Sunday. So I told her. She said, thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here, like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down here. Down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay. E is to take out my flashlight. So I'll start pushing some random buttons to figure out what the friggin' controls are. Or I could just go into the control menu, I guess. Just take a peek. Controls. How do I draw my weapon? Uh, middle button is boost. Hmm. 
there a Z? Something found a Z? No. Okay, aim and shoot is that. Remember, you can quick access the map without entering the mine place. Right with M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Anything else here? No? Yes, yes, I know. Leave me alone. Okay, can we go into this actual little hut? Or no? Interesting. I'm going to assume there's nothing I can actually do in here other than just scope stuff out. But I figured it would be interesting to come in anyway. Okay. Oh, I can walk over here. Nothing. Time to go back. Welcome back, Anderson. Dude, your voice is you're just creepy. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Okay, flashlight. Really weak unless you're inside of a building, it seems like. Which is ladle and hut? What the hell's the ladle? It's just a map. That uh, doesn't tell me anything else. Over here. Oh, we can go down. Check it out later, I guess. Oh, okay, here's the body. This area is actually, like, large. I can move, move stuff around by running into it. A creepy twig sculpture? Hmm. Wonder what's inside. Confused? Follow I these steps. Around for a way to open this thing. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of their fridge, take a nap. Huh. Follow these steps. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, and take a nap. Okay, so this is in order. So go to the sink, go to the fridge, go to the bed, is my guess, and find the code, the clue. Okay, sink, fridge, bed. Oh, there's the refrigerator. Okay, so triangles intersecting each other. The sink. Maybe it's the bathroom then? Okay, bedroom. 
the last one is triangles pointing away from each other. What do we got here? Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else, something less natural and much more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. Ooh. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, there in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. First drawing. Water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing. Water line. Engineered structure. Strange machines. Interesting. So this is what the guy thinks it looks like underneath the lake. Hmm. Uh, okay, so that's the bottom lock. Maybe that's the top one. So sideways intersecting at an angle, so like an hourglass. So hourglass is the top. Well, hourglass di at a diagonal, Hourgra hourglass up and down, and then sideways. Maybe, that's my guess. Uh, okay, this one, uh, up and down hourglass, this one, and then this one, a What is this? Inventory? How do I get to my inventory? Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Interesting. Three points of interest, okay. Alex Casey lunch boxes. Clues? Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Oh, Bright Falls. Who left these? Keep okay. trying. Goes here. <sighs> okay. The writer of the note is leaving these to inspire someone. Are they really for me? That's a typo. Are the really for me? I should I think it should say are they. Okay. Find evidence. Oh, okay. So there's eight pieces of evidence near Cauldron Lake. I don't know if that means it's like right now, right this second, or if I'm gonna find them over time. I'm not really sure. Uh, cases. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, it's swapping between the two on the wall. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Um, interesting. Okay. So is there anything else in this house? In terms of evidence. TV? Do I get to watch any more shows like I did in the, <laughs> the last game? Ooh. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Oh, the dream that you were having when uh, it, it was dead in the water or the lake or whatever. Which was a really freaking cool transition. Okay, I assume there's nothing else in here. Already read that. Okay. Let's go to the body. My lord. This body has decomposed. Did you get lost, Anderson? Hell no. Deputy Thornton, I take it. Yeah, that's me. Mulligan told me you were coming the other way. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. <laughs> Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Maybe. Step one. Examine the corpse. Yeah, 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 I know. My God. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Yeah. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Okay. C allows I to see uh, active clues. The key image can be selected with this and placed on the case board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Coincidence? Placing a key image on the board begins a new line of investigation. Okay. Consistent with previous murders, right? Okay. When a key image is placed, it's uh, it will prompt a new question. Okay. Objectives are viewable. Uh, under goals. Okay, yep, got it. Let's get the crime scene. You're not free to examine the case board or leave. Okay. Well, I was just in here, so I don't need to be in here still. Uh, F. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Okay. The killer left the heart right next to the body. That's interesting. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Hmm. Okay, so now I gotta go back in here and put these up. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time, the heart and the straps were left behind. Mm. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. 
clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, your questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay. You can check the updated goals by pressing control. Okay. Learn more about the killer and learn more about the victim. Got it. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Hmm. Need to find more clues. Okay. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Yep. There were, in fact, multiple killers. Because they're lovely shadow people. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Oh, was somebody being was recorded? It for a camera? Yeah, I was going to say, was it being recorded? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Hmm. Uh, killers, yep. Okay, so tripod can't do anything with yet. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. Uh, well, from what I saw, he was actually murdered right here on the table after they strapped him down. So... <laughs> we already know that much. Um... Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, hmm. and sisters. Wait, is this the guy from the first game? Who's going to discover speaking to people as well as by examining your surroundings? Okay. Wait, was this the same guy that was... No, wait, what was his name? Shit, I don't remember what the guy's name was. That, uh, that agent. This is, the Nightingale sounds familiar. The name Nightingale. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Yeah. What? Okay, so I can't get inside this building. It doesn't seem anyway. Um. Okay. Can I talk to you. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state, but yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Hmm. Okay, so what happened after he got fired, or...? So yeah. what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Hmm. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Hmm. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Mm -hmm. Probably something this town wants to forget. Yeah. Yeah, I assume our paths are going to cross with uh, Wake at some point, or Alan. Uh, okay. Back to the mine palace we go. Um, okay, victim. Casey's read on people sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. Yeah.
Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay. So maybe now I need to go down. To I'm gonna go areas. check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hmm. Go have a look see around. Interactable there. Lord. Uh, UFOs and You, the ultimate guide to spotting UFOs. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I'd finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. Tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would, it didn't. Not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. Oh, frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for, sh uh, for the shapes, the objects. Nothing. When I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. Interesting. How do you like the knitting, hero? I had it made just for you. Interesting. Wondering if the lunch boxes are clues from Alan. Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridiculous. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. <laughs> A triangle. God. Uh, okay, what's over here? Nothing, huh? It seems like we can go down f further, but maybe not as of right this second. Supposed to just talk to these people some more? Wait. Learn more about the killer. Oh. Can I bind this to one? Quick slot. There we go. What is this? There's ammo, battery packs. Oh, it's healing. Okay, yeah. Let's move you to quick slot. Forth? Sure. What is this? Increases maximum health. Okay. Oh, items. Here we go. Flashlight. Standard issue FBI flashlight. Search online, and I know how to keep confidential matters uh, confidential. Look, I get that the UFO thing was a joke, but you're probably trained to joke about it, right? To deflect, hide the truth from the average Joe. Anderson, hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? 
Okay, I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. Okay. What else do I need to do there? Is there something else I'm missing? Look at all this stuff. I can't go inside the building. Oh, here? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Yeah. Looks new, brought by the killers. Why? To mount a camera. Weird snuff film. Yeah. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. Mm hmm. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind palace to get inside the heads of suspects and vic victims. Okay. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Interesting deduction that you get out of that. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Hmm. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now after 13 years? Where has he been? Yeah. Lunch boxes. note inside mentions making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe just a coincidence? Yeah, I'm not thinking it's a coincidence. What do we got here? This mug always cheers me up. <laughs> not the worst, Mom. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Oh, wait, what's this? The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. So we are a very well known FBI agent. Up an upgrade I can't do yet. What's this? If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy case he is. Whiskey. Um, okay, profiling, I'm assuming we're done with, right? Is there nothing to do for profiling? Okay. 
The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Yep, sounds good. See when we get back. If we make it back. <laughs> this one of your hunches, Anderson? Yes. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly noon. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me it the creeps. It's a huge You need to tree. get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Yeah, that's where he came from. I think. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. Which is ladle. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet, there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld. Or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she, uh, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. Intriguing. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Okay, so there's nothing here. At least not as of right now. you get lost, Anderson? Not yet. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? Yep. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Oh no, they're not nightingales. There's a piece of paper on the ground. A page full of text on one side. Yeah, Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old yeah, school. It's Alan Wake. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Yep. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, 
or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Mm hmm. Okay. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Hmm. So is Wake Alan is Wake putting the pages to his story in the chat in people's chest to try to keep the darkness from getting to uh, you know from getting to him and changing his story from what he wants. I wonder. Felt like a message was a message. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words. Uh, felt like a message was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing, someone playing a game with them. If they knew it would end up hurting them. Leading them on an invitation. How could they not accept the sheer desert? This awesome mystery. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I it I mean obviously it's gonna be related between Wake and her story, but Oops. Wrong button. Manuscript pages. Okay. Case board. Walked through a boulder. Does it make sense? Yeah. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. There's more going on here than I'm seeing. I need to examine this body properly back in town. <clears throat> Don't go here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Okay. So now we got to go back. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Back up we go. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Mm. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. <gasps> but what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative. To do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Yep. Wait. We didn't go here yet. I missed this. Is there something inside? I can do.
They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Hmm. Poker chips. Oops, wrong button. Tars everywhere, man. <laughs> um. Locked. Okay. We got here. Monday, September 3rd, or March 9th. I don't know which way they're writing this. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Tuesday, 9-4. Something to re nothing to report. Some animals regular. Wednesday, 9-5. Hunters out after dark. Poachers. Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye, eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out here. Or out there. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. I'm good. I just want to take a look through the general store. Uh, yeah, we've already been that way. Assuming there's nothing over here. Could be a bad assumption, but. I think this is just back towards the beginning where we came from. Anything around this side? Nope, just leading back up. Okay, let's go back to the body. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. <laughs> yes, yes, we know. You've said that. Oh. Hey, oh. you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. All right, let's get the body back Deputy, to town. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. And okay. the diner, right? I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. All right, well. I'm gonna end this uh, video here. I am really enjoying this. I think I'm going to really like this freaking game. So, hope you found this enjoying so far. And I will catch you in the next one. I will be interested to see how this unfolds. Obviously, this is going to be a uh, back and forth probably between uh, Wake and our main character, FBI character here. I am forgetting her name off the top of my head right this second because, you know, my uh, memory skills are not the greatest sometimes. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.